Hello there, good neighbor. Today, this strange place in the bay is a salt pond plant. This salt ponds produce this massive amount of salt from the San Francisco Bay. As you can see, this man or woman has a never ending job. He pushes that salt day after day day in and day out. It makes you wonder how much salt do we actually use as a nation. Is salt a drug? I'm sure you can, can categorize salt as a spice. But as a drug, well, people used to go all over the world to get spices. And I'm sure salt is one of them. But we use salt for our roads. And I'm not really sure if it's the same salt. But this was a good shot of this person in the bulldozer shoveling that salt down into the hopper. In just a second, you will see your first salt avalanche. There's your salt avalanche right into the hopper. That salt goes into the hopper and down into that conveyor belt. And it rides that conveyor belt piece particle by particle all the way up to the conveyor belt on your left. You can see it going into the first plant on your left. A lot of conveyor belts for salt. Takes a lot of equipment to produce salt. Trains are involved to transport it and I'm sure this salt goes all over the world. Maybe you've heard of this little salt company. This little salt company is called Morton. Morton Salt Company. Yep, that's right. With the little girl and her umbrella getting rained on by salt. This company has been in the Bay Area oh, for over a hundred years. And as you can tell by their equipment it sure does look like it. I wonder what is going in next door to a salt company. But here is a good shot of all those salt ponds. So Morton Salt Company 
fills up those ponds with the bay water and the sun dries it out and you get natural salt. As you can see, the construction never stops here in the San Francisco Bay Area. The wetlands are going away for new construction. And you can see on both sides of this plant they have salt ready to go. Bundled up to parts unknown. But if you ever wanted to see how the salt is made well look into these barrels this beautiful blue chemical has something to do with the salt process it's kind of like seeing how the sausage is made but only for salt Each one of those barrels has a purpose for getting salt on your table. You never really think about where your table salt comes from. And you imagine about every restaurant, every house, every establishment fast food fancy senior living schools all need salt our body sweats it out I do like that building on top of that silo I wonder if it was meant to have a building on top of it. Well, there's all those salt ponds. One good look at them. And there's a big, I would say, two telephone pole high worth of salt. Once again, I'd like to thank you for coming along with me on this strange flight in the strange San Francisco Bay. I hope you come along next time, but I do thank you for coming this time with me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.